Never have I had carnal intercourse, nor tried to have it with Artemisia. But, Signor Tassi, were you ever alone with her in her house? While I was teaching her. While I was teaching Artemisia, I think there may be one time. Oh, God, well, maybe one time I was alone with her, but her brothers were always there. And would you ever visit the Gentileschi household, already knowing that her father, Orazio, would be out of the house? Yes. What do you want? I mean, I don't know how many times. Well, what the court would like to know, Signor Tassi, is why you would go. I went to teach his daughter perspective. I went a few times, then I didn't want to go anymore. I mean, this is, it, it, this is ridiculous. I have never been alone in Artemisia's house. There, there is nothing else to say. Well, I mean, there, there is nothing else to say. I have spoken the truth, and no one here can make be what has not been. All right, Signor Tassi, but the court, we do keep hearing that you would visit the Gentileschi household frequently. Yes. Well, this is even outside of your arranged lessons with the girl. So on those occasions then, what were you doing there? I mean, one time I saw someone coming out of the house with whom the girl was flirting. So... Yes, yeah, so I went up to Tootsia's rooms. And I said to her, Tootsia, Tootsia, you know very well that you were brought to Orazio's house to look after her, and yet you tolerate men going upstairs in his house. Come on. Oh, God. She said she didn't know what to do. Artemisia would just do as she pleased. But why is this your business, who is either coming or going from the Gentileschi house? Because I was Orazio's friend. Look, the persons that I saw... Yes, which persons? I don't know their names. I'd recognise them if I saw them. Persons that I saw were going to Artemisia to screw her. And what gave you that impression? Because she told me. She did. She, she, she told me. I, uh, I saw her on the street after she'd said goodbye to one of these men. And I reprimanded her. And I said, you should be a good girl. And not give way to such behaviour which had given you the French disease. And by that, yes, I did mean syphilis. And she said, do you know what she said to me this? She said, she said, um, what do you want me to do? My father's led me to this. First when he went to prison for 20 days and left me in need of a loaf of bread. And second, because he wants to use me exactly as I were a wife. I mean, I didn't believe her. Thought a ratio to be an honest man at the time. All right, Signor Tassi, this, uh, this conversation, this conversation which you're telling the court about now, which happened between you and Artemisia, where, on the, on the street, just outside of her house? Was there, Signor Tassi, anybody else who was present for that conversation? No. No? No? Well, then you were alone with her. <laughs> no. No, you said inside the house. No. You said inside the house. No, no, I have repeatedly the house. asked you. I have repeatedly outside asked you to the clarify. House. Is that what you meant? Outside the house? Yes, that one time. Thank you, Signor Tassi. And so, Artemisia then. What was she to make of you checking up on her in the way that you did? God, can we just come, please, can we just clear this up? So I was to pretend that I was there for other reasons. That is to say that I was to discover these intrigues by pretending I was interested in Artemisia herself. I mean, do, 
Do you think that I'd be interested in a girl like that? She's 15 years old. She thinks she can paint. And she's a whore. All right, Signor Tassi. Mm. I... Well, unless... Is there anybody else who can testify to that? Anyone, Signor Tassi, who you could call as a witness to support this view of Artemisia's sexual reputation? Anyone? Anyone? Niccolò Bedino, former apprentice to Orazio. I just want to say I didn't get anything for being here, not for Tassi or anyone. Now listen, Artemisia was not an honest woman. My friend Pasquino said he had her. Uh, Cosimo said he was screwing her for three years. And Stia Tessi said she was a whore. The only one who's got a good word to say about her is Agostino Tassi, who says he loves her, but they've never done it. Uh, Margarita the washerwoman? Oh. So, I've seen Artemisia oh. kissing various men at her house of here, Margarita. Oh. And I've often seen her kissing Francesco Scarpolino, oh. who's also a painter. Oh. And whenever he'd come over the house, right, they'd take each other's hands and they'd go up to the bedroom. But I, I don't know what they were going to do. Bernardino, Orazio's barber and sometimes model. I'd often go to the Gentileschi household and see men retiring to Artemisia's room. Yeah, they'd shut the door, but they would all come out red and sweaty in the face. Giovanni Petra, 73 years old. I heard it said many times that Artemisia was the flower, but I don't know who made her that way. Thank you. Uh, Mario, son of Filippo Trotter, um, I work in the paint shop. Uh, people are always talking about Artemisia in there, but they always say good things about her. Like she's a virgin and she's an honest woman. And oh, 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 and I've only once seen her stood shamelessly at her window. Uh, Marco Capino, ultramarine colour mixer. Uh, people are always talking about her in the paint shop. Say she's a public woman. That's a woman who goes out in public. And then she's so beautiful, right? Her father wants to take her as a wife himself. And he makes a pose all nude alive for the other men to come and watch. Basically, I think he wants to fuck. Artemisia Gentileschi, no. No, I've never had sexual relations with any other man besides Agostino. And yes, it is true that men have made efforts to have me, but never have I consented. And in fact, Cosimo, Cosimo, he actually tried more than most. And one time he came to my house just after Agostino had been and he tried to force me. And because I said to him, no, I will never, ever consent to you, he said, okay, well, if that's your answer, then I'm just gonna tell everyone that you did it anyway. And I'm gonna brag about it in any case. And he has done that. He said that I have done that to numerous people, including Agostino. And And I think that's why he's withdrawn from wanting to marry me. Donna Tutsia, can you corroborate any of these testimonies? Did you ever see Artemisia with any other man other than Agostino? No. No one else. And to your recollection, did you think Artemisia and Agostino were engaging in a sexual relationship? I do not know whether carnal copulation occurred because both of them denied it to me. But I did see Agostino alone with Artemisia in her rooms. She would be undressed, he would be dressed. Sometimes he'd throw himself on the bed, but I'd see them laughing and joking together. Oh. What's that? Uh, it's a painting. Oh, that's funny. It's a new one. It's my new painting. Funny. What's it supposed to be? Okay, well, don't be rude. It's obviously a man lying on a bed, isn't it? Well, it's not finished, but uh, it's going to be Holofernes eventually. But I want to change the face, and I know the arm is still too big, so don't say anything yeah, about that. Way, man. No, it's good. Who's the model? Uh, Francesco. Oh, right, Francesco Scarpolino. Yeah. Did you pick him? 
No, I didn't pick him. He was hanging around, so I asked him if he would stand in so I could just... Ow! Now he's just hanging around in your room, isn't he? Well, I mean, they're all hanging here, so... Do you like that? Do you like just looking up at him at night and going, Ah, oh, ah, oh, Francesca. No, I don't. I'm going to leave you two to it. Are you joking? Come back. No, I feel a bit uncomfortable. Okay. Okay, why? Are you going to change it? Yeah, I am. I just said Are to you. Are you going to change it too? I'm going to change the face to you. Is that right? Is that right? Because that's what I wanted to do no, anyway. No, I just I asked know, him if he no. would stand in. So I know, you need to calm down. It's fine. I just say otherwise you should just marry him. Okay, but I don't want to marry him, do I? I want to marry you. No, don't say that. God, do you know how unattractive that is? Do you know how much it just... Oh, God, it just makes me not want to. Okay, well, you have... No, no, I do not have to do anything. I don't fucking answer to you. And I certainly don't answer to the sad old slag. He's always just there, listening in on our private conversations. I told Artemisia I didn't like this hot pursuit of Agostino's. She said he was doing it because he wanted to marry her. I reprimanded her in Agostino's presence and she said, what is it you want? Mind your own business, don't meddle in what doesn't concern you. Hot pursuit? Yes, like the following. The turning up at all hours. But I thought that you said that they weren't following her. Did I say that? Yes, you did. So which is it? Now I'll come to think about it. Truthfully, in short, Agostino was always nearby. He was, so to speak, obsessed with Artemisia, obsessed with the idea of other men coming to screw her. When she was downstairs, he'd go to the edges of her apartments to see what she was doing. And... So I will ask you again, Donna Tuzia, did you let him in? No. Not always. But he would knock on the door so hard and at times I would try to refuse him. But he would threaten to do and say things and he'd tell me to shut up. And there was a stupid woman and one time he pulled me out into the dirt and he pushed me into the street and he kicked me. He kicked me in the arse like a stray dog. So yes, sometimes I did open the door. Out of fear. This is absolutely not true. Artemisia's virginity, lost thereof, has absolutely nothing to do with me. Like I say, she's a whore. Right, Signor Tassi. I want to say something oh, which Donna I thought Agostino yeah. by now bigger. would have brought up, but since he hasn't, I will. A few days ago, Agostino contacted me from prison. No! He begged me to do him the favour of bringing Artemisia to him. Wait, where? To his cell? Yes. And when I arrived at the office of the clerk of the court, Agostino began to talk to Artemisia in front of me. He said, I'm not a man to break my word, and I don't want to break it to you and that he would agree to marry her, as he had promised, before 15 days went by. You're lying through your teeth, you, you stupid bitch! He said, if you want to get me out of this mess... No! Yes. No! This is utter bullshit! This is utter bullshit! I'm sorry. What am I... What am, what am I supposed to do? Am I... Am I... Am I supposed to just sort of sit here and listen to this... this this woman! Talk about me like this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. She's a liar. She's a gossip. She's an informer! You're gonna regret this. I've never informed on anyone in my life. Except right now, when you're informing on me. He said that he would be willing to marry her no, if she were to get just... him out of this mess no. by retracting her no, testimony. Then he would do whatever she wanted. Ah!